In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to apply the slope, midpoint, and length formulas. The focus of this lesson will not be the calculations, but the overall strategy. In our first example, we want to determine whether triangle CDE is an isosceles right triangle. Let's break this down. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. In order to determine if the sides are equal, we need to use the length equation. And we would have to figure out the length of each side of this triangle. Next, we have to break down this piece of information, which states that it is a right triangle. So if you recall, a right triangle contains a 90 degree angle. If it contains a 90 degree angle, that means two lines are perpendicular. If you recall, perpendicular lines have slopes, which are negative reciprocals. Which means we're going to be using the slope equation. Therefore, we're going to have to figure out the slope of each line which makes up this triangle. And there you can see the overall strategy for this question. The first thing I want to do is figure out the length of line CE. We're going to start with our equation and we're going to use a subscript of CE to indicate which line we're talking about. Next, you want to substitute in your known values. So instead of x2, I'm going to put 3. And instead of x1, I'm going to put 1. Instead of y2, I'm going to put 4. And instead of y1, I'm going to put 6. You can do the calculations on your own. You should get a value of around 2.8. 83 units. We're going to do the exact same thing for line DE. Next, we're going to substitute in our known values. So instead of x2, I'm going to put 1. And instead of x1, I'm going to put 3. Instead of y2, I'm going to put 2. And instead of y1, I'm going to put 4. Again, you can do these calculations on your own. You should get 2.83 units. And just for good measure, I'm also going to figure out the length of side CD. We're going to sub in our known values in this next step. So instead of writing x2, I'm going to write 1. Instead of x1, I'm going to write 1. Instead of y2, I'm going to write 2. And instead of y1, I'm going to write 6. I'm not going to show you the calculations because you can do that on your own. But you should get a value of 4 units. At this point, we're going to figure out the slope of each individual side. I'm going to start with side CE. In our next step, we want to substitute in our known values. So instead of y2, I'm going to put 4. And instead of y1, I'm going to put 6. Instead of x2, I'm going to put 3. And instead of x1, I'm going to put 1. You can do these calculations on your own but you should get a slope of negative 1. Next, I'm going to figure out the slope of line DE.
I'm going to substitute in our known value. So instead of y2, I'm going to write 2. Instead of y1, I'm going to write 4. Instead of x2, I'm going to write 1. And instead of x1, I'm going to write 3. You can do those calculations on your own. And you should get a value of 1. And for good measure, I'm also going to figure out the slope for line CD. Next, I'm going to substitute in my known values. Instead of y2, I'm going to replace it with 2. Instead of y1, I'm going to replace it with 6. And instead of x2, I'm going to replace it with 1. And instead of x1, I'm going to replace it with 1 as well. Now, you're going to get something very interesting here. You're going to get negative 4 over 0. You cannot divide a number by 0, which means the slope is undefined. And if the slope is undefined, that means it is a vertical line. If it is a horizontal line, then its slope will be zero. Let's summarize our information on the side. The length of CE was 2.83. Meanwhile, the length of ED was also 2.83. And the length of CD was 4. Meanwhile, the slope of CE was negative 1, the slope of ED was positive 1, and the slope of CD was undefined. With this information in hand, we can make a concluding statement. Since the length of CE is equal to the length of ED, therefore triangle CDE is isosceles. Moreover, since the slope of CE and the slope of ED are negative reciprocals, Therefore, triangle CDE is a right triangle.